struggle for survival. In this era of force and destruction, historians will argue, what was the most influential factor? What was the most deadly instrument, the most deadly weapon? Was it the overwhelming manpower? Was it the blistering fire of the burning rockets? Was it the thundering mail from heaven, the bomb, the blockbuster? Was it the lightning-like dissension of the silent parachute? Was it the withering stutter of the light machine gun? Or the staccato of the Grand Rifle? Was it the brutal juggernaut, the patent tank? Was it the flame drawer? Or was it the screaming anger of the faster-than-sound, quicker-than-death D2 rocket? No, it was none of these things. The most effective, the most deadly, the most terrifying weapon of all time was... Yes, you're right. The sergeant's whistle. All right, you guys, now I'm going to tell you something. Got a coming, see? And as usual, the kind of ain't very happy. And I ain't very happy either. Look at this jank. It looks like Coney Island on a Monday morning. Hi, Signs. What's the action? You see Corwin? Yeah, I seen him, but I couldn't take it, so I sent him over to the mess hall. He's on KP. Okay, take him away. Right, Signs. All right, my friends. So now I want you to fall out, spread out, and pick up everything when ain't growing or nailed down. <laughs> Beans, talking those beans, no, it means, Mommy, I love you. 
nothing but me. Oh, I was born at the age of three, as smart as I could be. Sure, it takes a great mentality to dish out all the bling, 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 Wind and dine and love by movie queen. But you wear a tacky frame and you get a wacky dame. Oh, the Navy gets a, the Army gets a. I get the jackpot, but it's always a crackpot. Yes, the Navy gets the gravy, but the Army gets the bean. Did you know that the Navy gets all of the gravy? Did you know that the Army gets all of the beans? Oh, a soldier's a coward if he doesn't lick the platter clean. Oh, a soldier's a coward if he leaves a solitary bean. Oh, it isn't the fighting that will make a soldier cross and mean. It is only the beans. You can grab a Marine and you show him a bean. He says, what does it mean that I never have seen? So you grab a civilian and one in a million can identify. So I say to you, why do we got to have beans? Multiple beans, product and beans, succulent beans, nothing but beans. Beans. What do you think you're cooking around here? Beans? Ah, oh, shut up. You've been getting away with murder and it's got to stop. You understand? Shut up! Just because we were friends before and used to work together, I've been covering up for you. That's got to stop, too. You understand? Shut up! I get you a pack and everything that goes with it, and I want to see it down front in exactly five minutes. Understand? Shut up! You're going to go on a long, long journey, and you may not be back this way. Understand? Shut up! Get your pack and everything goes with it. Be down front in five minutes. Understand? Shut up! You're going on a long, long trip. You're going to be there soon. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! He's going to under AR 605-300. What's more, the CO can get him on the 104th and 107th article of the war. Now, the record goes on his WDAGO form 20 and 24. He could be eligible for a 615-360, uh, section 7, paragraph 49. Oh, sure. I get you it. So how he acted in CCB X1 and 2, and last summer it was a 293. Do so you think it's covered in 615-360? Sure, and MR1-92. His profile is 244.4.4D point. No, oh, brother, I ain't the army. I'm back in the numbers racket. Here's your mail, Corporal. Well, I guess we'll take another crack at that bandit. Do you think it'll work? It should. There was a guy in here a little while ago who fixed it. About time. How do you like that? Now you don't even get the nickel back. This creepy army. I asked for a transfer again. They throw me right out of the battalion headquarters. John, I see how many times I have to tell you. This ain't a day room. All right, sir. Got a cigarette? Yeah, here. Tell Sergeant McVeigh I want to see him right away. Right. Is Miller in? Yeah. Hey, Miller, what do you think we got here? Midgets? Captain, what about this training film tomorrow morning? Oh, yes. That begins at 7 o'clock. Now, the theater's two blocks away, so I think we better fall out at 6.35. They'll want us in front of battalion headquarters not later than 6.25. In that case, Davenport, have the men lined up and ready to go at uh, 6.15. Roger. I'll take care of that, sir, right away. Oh, uh, Lieutenant, one more thing. Make sure... Look what they gave Miller to issue to every man in the company. Bulletproof underwear. You know what that means, don't you? Sure. South Pacific. Sergeant Puccinelli, as you were. Sergeant, we have a special movie tomorrow morning, and I want the men to be in uniform and ready to fall out at ten minutes past six. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, just one more thing, Sergeant. Just to make sure, you better have the men fall out at five minutes past six. Yes, sir. 
Hey, Sarge, that call one's lost again. Well, you better find him. Right, Sarge. Hey, you see them lights? You see that sign? Well, let's be turning them off. Sergeant McVeigh, we've got to see the work, don't we? Yeah, well, what if Colonel Davis comes? He don't like lights on in the daytime. Another thing, McVeigh, the company has an early formation tomorrow, and you better have those men fall out at five minutes before six. Five minutes before six, huh? Yeah. Oh, I tell you, I got some names here that are cockamamies. Ladoski, Schmelowitz, Kizeli Uzmiak. Let me fall them out early. Say about 5.45, huh? Okay. Right, son. Someday this guy's gonna blow his brains out. If you ask me, he's already done it. Sergeant, the other room. Go around the outside. Through that door. That door. specimen you are. Get up. Look at this. Look at that. Fix the helm. Now get out on the parade grounds. Ten times around. Double time, understand? Then come back here. I got plans for you. Go on, get the lid out of your bucket. Wait a minute. Come here. Got a cigarette? I've been arguing with the adjutant again. Yeah? I don't dig this army at all. I want overseas, I stay here. The guys who want to stay here, get overseas. You forget there's a war on. Yeah, but what do we get to do about it? When I was a civilian, we had something doing every minute. Singing, dancing, working in nightclubs. I join the army, I sit on my hands. Ah, I'm hungry. Think I'll inspect the mess hall. 